Hey, good morning, First Christian Church. It is Wednesday morning, so it is time for your favorite weekly update. Well, if it's the only update that you see once a week, then it is your favorite, or whatever. You know what I mean. All right, everybody. I uh, just want to say, um, well, I, I, I apologize for Sunday. Um we try i try very very hard and i work very very diligently at trying to make sure that when we come together as a family on sunday that everything goes smoothly and things did not go smoothly on sunday and i know that when things don't go smoothly on sunday it interrupts and disrupts our worship and and i apologize for that um I, I try not to. I try not to. You know, I want to make sure that everything works, and so I want to make sure that the 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 software works, and the sound works, and the the lighting works. I want to make sure that everything is working correctly, so that when we come in and we we fellowship and we worship together as a family, that when we start singing songs, there's there's no interruption. There's nothing. There's there's you and the words and the music, and you're just singing to our Father. You're singing to Jesus. You're singing to the Holy Spirit, and it just works. But sometimes that doesn't happen, and it frustrates me, and I'm sorry. Uh, speaking of that, uh, the uh, software that we are starting to use will implement completely at some point. Uh, one of the things I, I put on live, I think it was yesterday or two days ago, uh, we now can use the presenter, the pro, pres uh, the pro presenter, uh, so the software to go directly to from from the computer directly to the Facebook live so the camera doesn't have to focus up on the top up there for you to sing along or to see the the, the stuff it's going to go directly to Facebook live that way that way you know there's no focusing there's no any it's just right there we eventually will be and the camera will still be used of course the camera will be used for communion time uh, it will be used for the preaching time. Uh, if there's somebody coming up and doing a special or whatever the case may be, we can focus in on that. It will be also on for the choir. Still going to use it. And so we are just <laughs> really up in our game here in order for us to have that amazing experience of worshiping and uh, making sure that everything is to the very best of our ability. So that is good. Um, also, uh, cleanup day. Uh, we have a sign up sheet for that. There's only four people who have signed up to help on cleanup day. That's, that's not going to be enough. We need a lot more people to, to come and sign up for that. So please do that. Um, this week also we are reading in first Kings and <laughs> one of the, one of the chapters that you are, have read or will read is in chapter 13. It's about the man of God who prophesies against the king, and he says, this is what's going to happen, and, and it does happen. To, and, and God said to that prophet before, he said, listen, you go there, say those things. Don't stay. Don't eat. Don't have anything to do with them. Say what you need to say and leave. Well, he goes, and someone invites him to stay for lunch or for a meal, and he says, I can't. I, I'm not allowed to stay. I have to go. That's what the word of God said to me. But then another man came up to him and said, hey, I'm a prophet too. And you are supposed to come to my house and have a meal. But God said not to. Well, God told me to ask you to come over. And he did. And then later on, God said, you didn't do what I told you. You weren't supposed to eat. You weren't supposed to stay. And you did. Now you're going to die. Hmm. So, my take on that is, we do what this says. Don't do what anybody else tells you to do. You do what this says. We've got these words. And remember, when you defy God and you go against him, there is always a punishment. We just won't be mauled by bears. It's in that story. See you Sunday, everybody.